Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here, and today I wanted to show you part three of how to make a platformer in Scratch. In this part, I'll show you how to add wall jumping, danger areas that the player has to avoid, and multiple levels. So yeah, let's get started with wall jumping. So at the end of part two, we got to this point where the character can jump around, but they go right through walls. So let's fix that. We want to make it so that if the player jumps into a wall, they get bounced off in the other direction. So let's go and edit the jump part of our code. I'm actually gonna rename this block jump from the walls because since we have this other jump block that can handle jumping off the ground, this one can just handle wall jumping. And I'm also gonna delete this jump code so we can design a new jump that detects the walls. So to test if the player has run into the wall, we can use the touching color block. And what do we want the character to do when it runs into the wall? Well, it depends on whether the player is jumping at the moment. If the player is jumping, then we want them to bounce off the wall like that, like go upward kind of. Um, but if the player is just sliding on the ground and they run into the wall, then we just want them to collide with it and stop. So, so let's get out an if else block and test if the up arrow key is pressed. So if the up arrow key is pressed, how can we make them jump up into the side like that? Well, how about we set Y speed to 10 to make them jump upward? And how about we set X speed to 10 so that they jump up, so that they jump up this way? So I'll put that in there as well. And let's try it out. So I will jump at the wall and there you go. Now I can bounce off the walls. Now, one problem is if I go over here, uh, I can try doing that, but it doesn't bounce me off if I'm coming from this direction. But if I'm coming from over here, I wanna get bounced up this way. So actually, if I'm hitting the wall from this direction, I actually want to set X speed to negative 10. So, so how can we tell which direction the player is coming from so that we know which direction to you know, bounce them away? Well, we can look at X speed. So if they're going this way, X speed will be positive. It'll be greater than zero. But if they're going this way, then it will be negative. So how about we just get another if else block and say, if X speed is greater than zero. So if, they're, if it's like that, if X speed is greater than zero, we want to set X speed to negative 10 to bounce them away like that. Otherwise, set X speed to 10. So bounce them the other direction. So let me try that. I'll go over here. And so now X speed is negative and I bounce and then it bounces me off that way. And so when my X speed is positive, I bounce, yep. And it, I bounce off in, you know, in this direction. And if my X speed is negative and I jump, then I bounce off in this direction. So jumping off the wall is looking good. Now we still need to take care of this case where if the up arrow key is not pressed, the character is just moving along the ground. And we want to make it that if the character is just moving along the ground and it runs into the wall, it stops. So if the character hits the wall, we want it to stop moving in the X direction. And if you'll remember from the previous part in this series, part two, that's very similar to what we did here check for, in Check for the Ground, where we want the character to stop moving in the Y direction if it hits the ground. So we can actually just use this exact same code to make it stop in the X direction. We just have to replace the Ys with Xs. So we'll just have to say change X by negative one times X speed and then set X speed to zero. So I'm just gonna build that code up here. And yeah, if you'd like to watch that longer explanation on why this code works, you can find that in part two. So I'll just say change X by negative one times X speed and then set X speed to zero. And let's try that out. So now I can jump off the walls in the air and I can collide with the walls if I'm just sliding on the ground. So we have wall collision. Now, let me show you how to add danger areas that kill the player. So I will go over here to our main loop and I'm gonna make a new block and I'll call this one check for lava. I'm gonna make the obstacle be lava in my game, but you can have it be you know, absolutely anything you want. You could have it be spikes, you could have it be water, really anything. You know, I'm going to make a new column of blocks over here because it's starting to get too long in this direction. And always remember to, when you make a new block, put it into the main loop so that the character does it when it's doing the code of your platformer. So to make the character check for lava, well, actually let's add some lava. I'm going to go over to the platforms sprite and I'm going to edit the costume and I will just draw a red rectangle. 
Obviously in your game, you can make your obstacles look much more detailed than this, but I'm just doing this for a quick example. And, and the one thing you wanna make sure is that there's a single color for the player to detect if it runs into, because you guessed it, we're gonna use the am I touching that color block again. And then anywhere you use that color will be a danger area that will kill the player. So like if you wanted to draw like a red rose, that would also technically kill the player. But you could use a different color of red and then that wouldn't happen. Anyway, going back to the code, I'll go back to the player and we can just say if touching the color of your obstacle, then let's just have the player go back to, you know, some point up here. So actually I'll pause the game and, you know, because they're resetting the level, you want the player to go back to the beginning of this level to try it again. So you can just drag the player to wherever you want them to start new levels from. I guess I'll have them go from here. And then I'll go to the motion category and drag out a go to block, which as you probably know, this will update to any location that you drag the character to. So I'll put that in here and let's try it out. So I am going along my platformer, but I hit the lava and that makes me go back to the beginning of the level. So yeah, you can now design your levels with as many danger areas as you want all over the place. You can make it as difficult as you want it to be. Uh, now, let me show you how you can add multiple levels. So let's go to our map and draw something that the player can run into. I'm gonna set the color to a brown and draw a door because we wanna create something that the player has to try to get to. And once they get to it, is that lined up? Lined up enough. So we want to draw something that the player has to try to get to, to get to the next level. So I'm just gonna add a little doorknob. And as with the lava, we're gonna use this color to just be the door color. So you wanna have that same color in all your levels. So I will put the door in various places. Um, you know, okay, I'm gonna put it somewhere different here. Put it up there. And then here, I'll also paste that door and just put it there. And let's also add that into our code. So I'll make a new block and call it, this is number seven, check for the door. And very similar to this, I'll actually right click and duplicate this. I'll say, if touching the color of the door, then I'll, I still actually do want to do this. I want to have the character, you know, start back over here because now they're starting a new level, but I will also send out a broadcast and call it next level. And then we can go to this platforms sprite and we can say, when I receive next level, because all of our different levels are in the costumes of this sprite. Oh, and before I forget, I need to add part seven, check for the door into this code in the main loop. Never forget. So let's give it all a shot. I am jumping around and I make it to the next level. And now I can jump around over here. Let's see if this is possible. Ah, yes. And then I'm just going from level to level. And if I run into the danger areas, I get reset. I've got more platformer videos coming up, like how to customize the character and how to customize maps. Plus I wanna add some more things like items and enemies, but if you have any other requests for platformer tutorials, just put them in the comments. Um, and yeah, I hope you have fun making your platformer. Uh, I'll see you next time and scratch on.